If you're waiting for someone to give it to you, you better get comfortable. Do not be afraid of failure. Word to the wise. If you have broken your neck, learn the anatomy. <laughs> well, well, well. So, over the last month, maybe a little bit more, we have done the the quad standard. We have done the the new standing frame. We have done the uh, prayer bench, and just recently we just finished up with the going back to the sausage, working the sausage, and one of the constants that you see is so they continue to do an exercise that is known as sit to stand which is nothing more than trying to get to a standing position very important and I told you that there is no <coughs> no substitute for standing and I also told you that my training was going to change and my training has changed <clears throat> not that I've stopped the other training that I've been doing however I've just added more because the other stuff that I'm doing is, all, is equally as important you know simply just moving around is important alright so you know if you think you can't do anything you know don't think just do just get the fuck to work you know, but what we're going to be dealing with is I want to talk about a lot of the muscles that make it so you can do the sit to stands. You know, which is a lot of the back muscles. Um, you'll see here. I uh, see here. Now we have all the musculature, front and back. We're just dealing with the back today. You'll see you have your trapezius, which does a shitload for the back. You have your, pretty much your rear deltoids, your latissimus, which are your lats, your lumbar, and you know, there is a ton of shit. But your front muscles, you can say you can do a sit up, and they pull you forward. Your back muscles pull you obviously backwards to a standing position. Eventually, we're doing the back today, but we're going to be doing also, we're going to work on the gluteus. Get that fucking tight ass, bitches. Um, we will be working on some ass crunches. There's the dog. You know, but we're going to get to that. We're going to figure out what the uh, exercises that we're doing. If you have any wish and or desire to, to stand, if you have any wish and or desire to actually properly move, if you have any wish and or desire to do much of fucking anything other than sit in a stupid fucking chair and be a goddamn cantaloupe. In other words, useless. If you are defiant and you have the discipline and you have the, you know, the, the want, the desire, the feel, the need, 
that you no longer wish to be in this situation, so you just decided you're not going to be. Welcome. Working on the back. Um, let me think. A lot of the training that I have done, I always get myself a little lost because I have a problem with things get, the, the lines get a little blurry. All right? The line between intelligence. Intelligence. The ability to learn or understand or to deal with new or trying situations. The ability to apply knowledge to manipulate one's environment or to think abstractly as measured by an objective criteria. Since stupidity gets fuzzy. Stupidity. Behavior that shows lack of good sense or judgment. A line between confidence and cockiness gets fuzzy. Okay? Only because of the, des the desperation. Desperation. A state of despair. Typically one that results in rash or extreme behavior. Now I understand a lot of times, you know, especially if you're recently all busted up, that there's dis depression, despair, discouragement, what else? Um, I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem possible. You'll speak to a doctor or two and they'll be like, oh, you know, little Poindexter over there, he's all fucked up. He's never going to use his hands again. Oh, Mr. Poindexter, he's never going to stand, you know, blah, 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 blah. Disregard what anybody says. Disregard whomever it is you're talking to. The, 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 the one simple factor, as far as your recovery is concerned, is you. You alone hold the key. I've said this before. Your determination will decide how far you get or what you get or what it is you want to get and everything else. How hard do you want to work? You have to constantly push yourself. And it sucks. You have to do this much training to get this much improvement. You have to continue to move. I said this before and I'll say it again. If and when they find a cure for this bullshit, which I'm thinking the cure is good old fashioned fucking hard work, seems to be working for me, but if and when they do decide or they do find or whatever it is and they find a cure, if you have not been training, it doesn't make any difference what they find. It's not going to apply to you. Okay? When I say to you, you're the harder you train, the better you're going to feel. All right? It is the absolute truth. So you have to get to work. I don't care if you want to sit there and look at half the shit that I've done, or somebody else, or make up your own shit. But get the fuck to work. You have to train. Figure out how you can get to the floor and back fucking safely. Whatever you got to do. Figure if you know, who, who can help you. How can you help yourself? What it is, what is it you can do? You know, don't just go, uh, it's never going to do anything, so I'm not going to do nothing. Because all you're going to do is die. And when I say die, I don't mean that you're just going to cease to live, but you're no longer going to do anything. That for, therefore, your body is going to turn to shit, all right? And then you're just going to just sit there in a fucking chair doing nothing, all right? And unable to do anything. That to me is death. That is worse than fucking death. If I get anywhere to that point, I will have somebody dig a fucking hole in my backyard and then they can leave, I'll take care of the rest. Alright? Sounds a little severe? It is. I find just fucking accepting this bullshit to be extremely fucking severe. You know, spinal cord injury fucked up when it fucked me up. It took every fucking thing I owned. My health, my ability, all my shit. Damn near everybody I know. Alright, but you know what it didn't do? The mistake it made, it forgot to fucking kill me. It tried. But it fucking failed. Now I'm not dead and I'm going to be fucking even less dead tomorrow. And then the day after that I'm going to be even fucking less dead. 
all because I'm going to continue my training. I can't tell you what to do, and I can't make you do it. And fortunate for you, I don't live next to you. Well, I don't know, fortunate, maybe you would like that shit. I'd be over your fucking house fucking with you all fucking day. You have to start thinking, and you have to put your thoughts into action. If your ideas seem so fucking far out of bounds, then you're right on fucking the money, kid. Alright? Start thinking, put it into action, get to work. Get to fuck to work. You have to get to work. What else are you going to do? If you don't move, you're never going to move. And if you're never going to move, then you're going to die. Don't be dead. That's all I can tell you. In the immortal words of the late, great George Carlin, everyone appreciates your honesty until you're honest with them. Then you're an asshole. Hey, and remember, you know, failure does equal effort. You have to put forth an effort in order to fail. But if you don't try, hey, you will never fail. However, if you don't try at all, you will fail yourself and everything and everybody around you. So we are dealing with the, the muscles of the back. You know, I told you a while ago, we're stuck with the daunting task of building strength from the top down. You know, so we're going to start, we have on the top your trapezius, your latissimus dorsi, and then finally the spinal erectors. Very important muscles of the back, some of the biggest muscles in the body, and we're going to have to try to tackle them. Right up top, we're starting with the trapezius muscles. One of the biggest muscles in the back, and notice where it is, right in the middle of your back. This muscle does fucking everything under the sun. All right, you should really look into this. I'm not going to sit there and try to educate you on everything. Look into the trapezius, go online, go on the internet and find out about this. Because if you educate yourself, you're going to learn more than looking at my stupid fucking video for a minute and a half. All right, the trapezius muscle. Check it out. The latissimus dorsi. The yin to the pectoral yang. This is the one that makes it so you can actually push your chest out. Stand up straight. Stand at attention. Very important muscle. Once again, one of the largest muscles in the body. You know, look into the latissimus. Find out how it works. I'm not doing it anymore. You do it. Look into it. Which brings us to the erector spinea. Which is actually a whole pile of muscles that comprise the spinea. You know, without your spinea and without a strong spinea, you're, you're going nowhere. I mean, you could take a look and it's basically like a big rubber band that runs up from the back of your skull right to the top of your ass. You know, it's comprised of multiple muscles of which I'm not even going to try to bother to pronounce. You check it out. You see what's going on. You try to strengthen this. Big problem is, you know, especially with quadriplegia, you know, this is where a lot of the paralysis begins. The erector spinea. Look into the erector spinea. And of course, I've told you a thousand times, the body works as a unit. Right here, we're dealing with something called the posterior chain. I mean, the erectors, the glutes, the hamstrings, you know, the gluteals. Fucking A. You got a weak, saggy ass. You're never getting on your feet. You gotta figure out how to break the paralysis and engage the gluteals. You have to deal with the hamstrings. We have to strengthen the hamstrings. We have to strengthen the hamstrings when they don't even fucking work. We gotta make them work. And all of this all starts at the top with the neck. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about the neck and how to strengthen the neck. Stay tuned. With this injury, stupidity, can kill you. And intelligence can save your life. You have two options. Educate yourself or die. Not that difficult now, is it? Gotta go.